shooting my 1895 Marlin 4570, and the other gun is going to be my Rossi 1892 and 454 Casul. The bullets I'm going to use are these right here. A 300 grain Federal cartridge, copper jacketed uh, soft point, and an HSM 300 grain soft point with a copper jacket. Now, in the handgun, this goes 1600 feet per second. In a rifle, it should be going around 1900. Now, this one here is, I believe, meant to be around 1850 to 1900 feet per second. So, these are two very similar bullets traveling at what should be theoretically the same speed. So, let's see how they do. Now, this one's really rated for mostly deer and black bear. I don't see many recommendations on using it for elk. You probably still could use it for elk because 300 grains is still a lot of weight. And I am just curious to see how the 454 Casul does and also what the recoil is like between those two guns. So let's see. So we had seven jugs, we had penetration on four, and here's number four, and we managed to catch the bullet. So let's go ahead and take a look at that bullet real quick, because it's always fun to look at bullets that expanded. So that's the bullet right there, opened up pretty wide. All right, four jugs is pretty good penetration. A lot of people do tests like this on YouTube with all kinds of cartridges, and four gallons is pretty good. Now this is a kind of a mild 4570 bullet, and yeah, if it was higher pressure, it'd probably go further. If it was a dense material, it'd probably go further. But that's pretty good for a mild bullet. And that expansion would do a lot of good damage making an ethical drop of an animal quickly. Let's get out the 454. Now what we're seeing here isn't exactly a lot of what my time is dedicated towards on YouTube. A lot of the time, it's about my knives and the fantastic blades I make. If you like this video, please check out what I have for sale in my online store. The link to my Etsy is down below. And feel free to check out any of my other videos on the blades I make. Now we'll get back to the video. Here we go. Jug number six. And it hit with enough power that it split the backside of this jug. Jug number six. There's only one jug left that's untouched. And the bullet is down in here. Just got some water on me. All right. So, that right there is that bullet. So, that's the 4570, and that's the 454 Casul. So, in terms of expansion, it looks like the Federal, they're pretty darn close in their expansions. It looks like the Federal may be just a tad bit wider. But they're both fairly intact. The pedals are still attached. I really like these heavyweight cartridges that uh, slow down quickly because there's not a whole lot of damage on an animal. By damage, I'm referring to meat that has been damaged to the point of where you cannot eat it after the animal has been dropped, also known as bloodshot meat. This cartridge has enough lethality to drop any animal in the world and has been used on everything and it is my go-to choice when I go hunting big game. It has a short range, but if you can stretch it out, it'll drop anything and it has only ever taken me one bullet. When you hit them, but yeah, I am pretty impressed that the 454 Casul hit six jugs and even cracked the back of jug number six. So. 454 Casul takes it on that one. Linked to my Etsy where I sell my handmade knives down below. Hope you enjoyed this video. Like, subscribe, and yeah, that was pretty darn fun. Disclaimer on this video. This is not a straight up comparison of all the 4570 can do versus all the 454 Casul can do. The 454 Casul, while it is powerful, the 4570 does have more potential in its performance. Now, in this test here, what is specifically being done is I'm comparing two similar bullets in two different cartridges and how they perform. Could the 4570 be pushed faster? Yes. 
could either bullet be swapped out for a different bullet and change the results by using lead or brass solids versus soft points. Absolutely. Anything could change the results of these tests by changing the factors going into it. This is just a simple comparison between two similar bullets and what their real-world application does.